What's up guys, Tim Wilson here from 58 Degree and Tim Wilson UK and welcome back to TGC Tours. It is uh, the next event, it's event number number 9 in the CCB. I must apologise, I do have a horrible, horrible cold at the moment. But uh, event number 9, this week's event is the Tax Slayer Spring Shootout from Salish Ridge Golf Club. We're going to jump straight in here. Uh, let's have a quick look. There we go. Begin the round. Soft fairways, soft greens, but they're playing fast and the wind spin, the wind speed is high. So it's going to be a tough opening round. Good thing is, is that the greens are going to be receptive, but with the high wind speeds, that's going to make it pretty tough. I think I have played this course previously socially. So it's not like I'm saying I've got course knowledge, but I have played it, so I am a little bit familiar with the course. I don't remember an awful lot about it, but um, I'm looking forward to playing. Um, just going to have a quick look um, while this is loading up. I just want to have a quick look at where I finished last week. So last week, which was the Barstool Sports Open at the Dunes at Lake Marine, Lake Marie, minus 36, tie 34th. So pretty pleased with that. Not a bad result. Um, I think it was the final round that probably let me down. The third round was the good one. The final round, not so much. So let's get this round underway. So we've got some trees. It looks like a, a little bit of a woodland layout here. So let's jump straight in. I, as I said before, I am playing on the Challenge Circuit B. And I am playing with the Pro Clubs. Got 11 mile an hour wind. So not, not too bad to kick things off. Decent drive to get off the box. Is it going to hold? Only just. All right, 121 to the flag. Probably playing 123. I'm going to add a. I'm going to de loft this a little because we have got an upslope to contend with. should bounce once and then check soft green so maybe I should have given it a little bit more that's going to leave me yeah I was going to say 15 feet 14 feet which is great one inch uphill now we're in for a birdie on the first hole so always a fabulous way to start a round and events as well let's skip through the uh, the scorecards because they don't really have much bearing all right, 14 mile an hour wind behind now, playing about 158. So that's probably bang on. I'm going to add a little bit of loft on this. That is, that's a, a tough wind, that is. I think I'd probably prefer that to be playing as a, as a headwind than a tailwind, because a tailwind, you can't do an awful lot to counteract it. That was a horrible swing line, but it's on. Once more, we're under 15 feet. It's 12 feet this time. Put this on the right edge. Oh, my throat is so croaky. Not great for videos, but <clears throat> just going to carry on going. That's back-to-back -back birdie, so hole one and two. As always, guys, the aim for the round is bogey-free. Haven't been able to manage that in the past few events. But uh, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get a bogey free round going here. That's going to run up fairway there. It's at par 5, so I am going to I'm going to put this up in the wind a bit. Pulled it ever so slightly, but I think we're going to be good. Carried that bunker with ease in the end, 305 yards. Probably not going to be getting there. 278. No, nowhere near. I think what I'll do is I'm going to drop this all the way down. Yeah, bang on. It's going to be right in the middle of that section. Should have a nice flat lie. Maybe slightly uphill. Yeah, slight uphill lie. 
Got a pitch shot here, 74 yards, wind behind. I'm gonna drop that down. I'm gonna see if I can get this to roll up to the flag. I pulled that and it's okay. That's worked out all right. It's gone past a little. That's gonna be about eight feet, six feet, even better. Just grabs the left edge. So that's three birdies on the bounce. Let's see if we can keep this run going. That'd be quite nice to have a good opening round. May even get onto the, uh, the top of the leaderboard, but then again, I haven't looked at how some of the other guys have shot. So I could be, it could all just be pipe dreams, to be honest. I'm hoping that wind is going to hold that up. This could be in the rough. Ooh, that couldn't have been any closer to the rough if I tried. It's still in the fairway though. My goodness, that is close. All right, playing 109 yards. That is bang on the yardage for that wind, I think. shy it's not going to spin back looks like we're going to have an uphill putt as well no slightly downhill so that was deceiving trickier putt here for the birdie on this hole 16 feet swinging right from the off oh my goodness me four birdies on the bounce I'm not going to get ahead of myself but that is a good start Stroke index one, this toughest playing, toughest hole on the course. Nice and straight, beautiful. Wind's taking it over to the right a bit. Is it going to hold the fairway? Yes, it is. 290. All right, so we've got 197 to the flag. Ooh, really? I can see why this is a uh, stroke index one. Good thing is we've got the bunker behind to hold this up. I still think 193 is going to be too strong. But this is about just picking up the par. That's all this is about. If this holds on to the short stuff, I'll be pleased. In fact, I am more than pleased with that result because that's going to give me a birdie opportunity. 13 feet, not even a great deal of movement here. And there was more movement in there than what I thought. I hit that, that putt dead straight. I just didn't allow for the movement straight off the club face. <coughs> but it's a it's a par. It's the first one of the round. We are currently four under through five. And we have another par five. So another cracking opportunity to pick up another birdie. And another great strike. Should hold the fairway. Okay, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to reach this. 271, it's uphill. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to play stupid. I think if I had the master clubs, and I had that little bit more yardage, I probably would take shots like that on. But they're just too risky. They really are too risky. All right, so this is playing 80 yards. Okay, could have been closer, not great, nine feet. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, I think that was all pace that stopped that from dropping. Alright, disappointing not to pick up a birdie on a par 5 there, but I'm still okay. Four under through six holes. Swinging pretty nicely today, I have to say. I am pleased with the way that I'm swinging the club right now. It's not dead straight, but it's within that blue bar, which is always the main thing. Come on, wind, bring it in. Bring it in. Okay, that's another one with under 15 feet. So the wind, albeit it's there, it's not causing me too much of a problem. It's more the putting that's causing me a problem at the minute. But that one's going to drop. That's five under through seven. <clears throat> so if we can get a decent round from a, from a first, sorry, a decent front nine... And then we need to hold it together for the back nine and hopefully pick up an occasional birdie here and there. So that is 175. That's playing 168. I hope I've got enough here, otherwise this is going to be wet. It's okay, it's going to be about 20 feet away. One inch downhill, a lot of movement on this one. I was going to say, I've just had a look at the stroke index, just peered up at the top left hand corner. Stroke index three, and you can see why. It's a tough little hole. That's all right, I'm pleased with that. I'll take a par on that hole, that is, that's quite a tough hole. Right, we are five under through eight. Hole number nine, par four, playing 457. I think we're gonna have to come out wide, which means it's gonna make the second shot longer. We're gonna get better angle on the green, but it is gonna make that second shot longer. Yeah, you can see that, 228 into that wind as well. Pushed it a bit, but it, I just need to get it up and over that. All right, we've stayed out of the bunker. 15 yards. Okay, that's rolled out nicely. Right, so we got this for the birdie to take this to six under for the front nine. Okay, we're in. Six under for the front nine. Oh, that no, that was a par four, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Five under for the front nine. Now we've got a par five. Gotta hope this rolls down a little to the left. Yeah, there we go. 309. Have we got a gap in those trees now? We have. 248. Oh, that is so tempting, but if I hit those rocks, it could go anywhere. gonna play this smart this round I think oh I say that and I've just hit that in the rough 
All right, that's not great. So this is going to be a tough shot now. Go on, have a roll. That'll do. Ooh, we may be able to get away with the birdie here. Got a decent bounce out of the rough. Okay. Now we're six under. We weren't six under on the last hole. We're six under now. Six under through ten. These par threes are really tough on this course. I don't remember them being this tough. Yeah, pretty pleased with the way I played that. Judged that one pretty much in my eyes to perfection. And we managed to get the putt as well. So going along nicely in this round. Hole number 12, par 5, 604 yards, playing 563 today. wind bring that back round into the fairway I don't think I'm going to reach that in two <clears throat> no 289 into that headwind nowhere near that one okay we should have a pitch shot into the green now 66 yards, 65, probably playing 70 yards into a 12 mile an hour wind. That is absolutely spot on, I think. Yeah, and that's going to leave me about five feet. Six feet. Another tricky little putt though. But we're in. Hole number 13. 4.54. Need to just keep this in the short stuff. Another nice straight drive. Would have been better if I could have kept that down the left hand side to give me a little bit of an angle on the flag, but the good thing is that the wind's blowing the right way. It's changing to a headwind as we speak. I'm going back. That wind is changing all the time. That went straight over the top of the flag. It's still going to be about 20 feet though, 23 feet. I'm not too displeased with that, with that changeable wind. Oh my goodness me, I'm chuffed to bits with that. Right, 5.09 today, long par 4, anything over 500 yards as a par 4 is a long one and it's tough. It's even harder if you don't get it in the fairway, that's okay, we got a good bounce, that swing line was a bit poor. Well, there you can see, still 200 yards to the flag. I think I'm going to employ the sting a hybrid here just to try and keep this under the wind and get some extra yardage so 
That's right. We're on the right level. We're on the green, which is even better. It's a long way away, though, and uphill. That's the important thing. We're putting uphill. Let's have a quick look at the putt, see if it's... Uh, Moving all to the right, every single way, every single uh, block, we've got movement to the right. So it's not a lot though. Ooh, nearly. I'll take that though. Nine under through fourteen. I would imagine we're probably still going to have another par 5 to come. 400 yard par 4. If we can get 300 yards off the uh, off the tee here, which we should do with an 11 mile an hour wind behind us, then we should have a short iron or a wedge into the green. That should carry 300 yards. Almost 294. That's definitely going to be a wedge. There we go, lob wedge. Pins in a tough position though. Wow. Going to really loft this. this to bite quite quickly. That'll do. Moved more. Once more it moved off the club face straight left. So that's the second one that's done that. And they're not, you know, they're not particularly tough pins. I mean, that was only... Sorry, that's not particularly tough putts. It was only nine feet, but um, yeah, didn't get it. Let's see which way this green is flowing. Right, so it's flowing down towards the flag. So if we come in from that angle and roll it up. Got to get it up that slope, which I think it will. Pleased with that one as well. Hit some great shots into these greens. Just the putting has not been great. I mean, apart from that 124 footer, I've missed ones under 10 feet or around 10 feet. So the score could have been considerably better, but I'm not grumbling. 10 under par through 16 holes is uh, is not a score to be sneezed at. So I'm, I've got to say I'm pretty pleased. I'm going to play safe here. And just play a little pitch shot up onto the green. That's playing 79 yards. Wow, that rolled on a lot. I dropped that down to 71. Didn't add a lot of loft onto it because I thought it was going to check up. Get in. Yes. All right, 11 under. I don't even know how many people have played. I'll have a quick look and see how many people have actually played after this round while you guys are still on the uh, on the video just to that's a, that is a tough shot it's only 380 yards I don't even think I'm gonna play I'm not gonna play stupid here because I could run out of fairway there I've dropped that down to the three wood 
gone 250. I've got 130 into the flag. Need to be on the right level here. That's the main thing. Oh, don't come off the green. Don't come off the green. There's me saying I've got to be on the right level. I just didn't allow enough for the wind. That wind was really, really brutal. That'll be enough for the par. I'll take that though. What are we? 10 under? 11 under. 11 under for an opening round. I'm pleased with that. Let's have a quick look while you guys are on. I think I've actually got TGC Tours open here. So currently, in my... Wow, an 11 under is going to put me tie third. Quite a few people have played as well. Tie third. I'll take that. 11 under. Leader, 14 under at the moment. I mean, I'm even on that one there, 14 under. It's probably CJL Lucky or TFO 54. Um, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Feel free to leave some comments in the box below. And if you've yet to subscribe to 58 Degree or Tim Wilson UK, because this video appears on both channels, then hit that subscribe button. But until next time, guys, keep your eyes peeled for round number two. That will be coming up tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye now.